You can resize your rows and columns to get a better view of your data or to fit more data on the screen. The way to do this is you put your mouse in between the two columns. In this case, I'm going to put my mouse between columns C and D because I want to resize the amount column. And as you get your mouse right in between, you'll see that the cursor turns to this double arrow. What you do then is you click, hold, and drag the mouse until you get the column to the right width. That looks good to me. I'm going to do the same thing here for the date column. I'm going to get my cursor right in between those two columns, click, hold, and drag. You can also resize multiple columns at the same time if you have multiple columns that you want to be the same size. We're going to select one column by clicking on the column's letter up at the top. That selects the entire column. Then we're going to select multiple columns by holding down the shift key on the keyboard and clicking the mouse on column E here. That's going to select all the columns in between. Then if I resize one column, it's going to apply that resizing to all the columns I have selected and it'll make them all the same size. These resizings also work exactly the same for rows. You can resize one at a time. You can click, hold down shift and click again to select multiples. Then when you resize one, it's going to make them all the same size. You can also select all the rows and all the columns by using the top left select all diamond here. And then if I make a change to the row size, it's going to apply it all the way down the spreadsheet. Excel also has an auto fit feature where it will automatically figure out the perfect size to fit the data for each of your columns. The way to do this is you select the first column and then hold down the shift key and select the last in the area you want to be auto fitting. And then when you put your mouse right in between two columns, it'll turn to that double arrow, you double click. And it will automatically snap the column width to be just big enough to fit your data. You can temporarily hide a column if you want to get it out of the way. To do that, hold your mouse over the column letter, right click, it'll select the column for you, and then you choose hide. And you'll see that the letters of the columns on either side of the hidden column have become bold blue and that gives you a clue that there's a hidden column in between them in case you forget. To get the column back it's a little tricky. You want to very carefully move your mouse in between those two column letters until you see that it changes to a double arrow with the white space in between. Here's with the white space, here's without. So once you have the double arrow with the white space in between you right click and choose unhide and you'll have your column back.